Nick Davy is the master engraver here in Great Torrington. These pieces will be a limited edition. Only a hundred will be made, and they cost more than six hundred pounds each. Probably about about six hours from start to finish. So it's, it is quite sort of sort of intense, really, for man hours. It, it, you know, for a piece like this. So does he make many mistakes? No, thank goodness, <laughs> not yet. Um, uh, it, it's you can you can sort of use a bit of artistic license with the design, something like this. Yeah. And although they've got to look the same, they they will all be slightly different because they are hand done. So you know, hopefully no mistakes. You know, a few get dropped on the way, I'm sure, but uh, you know, we'll just redo them. One of the brands owned by Dartington Glass is Royal Brierley. After supplying the royal family for more than five years, they were rewarded with a royal warrant. We're unique in, in, in the crystal world in that we've got uh, a royal warrant both to supply the Queen and to supply Prince Charles. Staff here say they're proud they've earned the warrant. They say it's a mark of prestige. Yeah, I mean, I think we do quite a lot actually for different members of the royal family, either as sort of gifts for them or for them to actually give, you know, to, to, to foreign visitors. Hilary Green has been a busy lady just lately. She's been designing all the commemorative gifts ready for the royal wedding. Everyone here says working for a company with a royal warrant is a responsibility, but also an honour. Janine Jansen, BBC Spotlight, Great Torrington. A freshly fitted tyre, but no rubber in sight. That's because these wheels are built the old-fashioned way. The tyre is a metal band, continuous metal band, which is rolled into a circle and then welded. And I make the tyre slightly smaller than the wheel. So all these gaps, when it's bonded, will disappear. Obviously the metal expands in the fire to enable it to get it over the wheel. Sit down your end there, right? and then we cool it quickly to shrink it in a process called bonding. And you'll hear in what we call the wheel talking, that snicking of timber as it all pulls tight. What we don't want is where it all catches fire around the edge. They call it a ring of fire, for want of a better term. The problem with that is it's actually burning the timber. And a ring of carbon forms underneath this tyre. And as it goes around the road, that carbon falls out then your tyre can become loose, so that's why we have to cool it so quickly. Greg's been a wheelwright for 20 years, trained by his dad, Mike. He started this business in 1964. Um, before that, we've got generations going back in a, in a broken line, untraceable line, but uh, wheelwrights in our name supplied the wheels to take the stone to Exeter Cathedral and they were based in the same spot as we are now. And of course, above the door is the Royal Warrant. The Warrant is, is uh, the crowning glory on, on what you can do. It, it, it just, it's like winning an Olympic medal for your trade. You can't go much higher, really. Um, and you can't buy it, you have to earn it. Um, and it, it, it's just a, an, it's a real honour, a true honour. They make around 200 wheels a year here in Colleton in East Devon, and it's not just the royal family they serve. We build cannons. Uh, we did some massive ones for the walls of Londonderry in Northern Ireland. Um, cannon wheels, cart wheels, you name it really. We even did the barrels and buckets for the film Gladiator. But if the Queen is calling, she gets priority. We do go up and visit the muse uh, if we're required. If they ring us and we're needed, we'll go. Um, other work does take a back seat. If, it, if it's needed in the muse in a hurry, then other people have to wait, unfortunately. Well, I asked Greg if he's working on the carriages for the royal wedding, but he says he's sworn to secrecy. Janine Jansen, BBC Spotlight, Colleton. Eighty-year-old Eric West retired from the Muse 11 years ago, but he's so good, the royals still employ him to paint their carriages. How does that make him feel? 
and so it shows worse. <laughs> No, to be honest, I'm, I'm quite pleased that I can see. That's, that's the main thing. The royal carriages are reputed to be the best in the world. Eric spent 17 years working in the Mews, Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle. His favourite job was restoring the Irish state coach. I could really get my teeth into that. It became an obsession, no doubt about that. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it was that after I finished it, <clears throat> about a week after, I felt so lonely, so I didn't know what to do with myself. It was nice when she used it and Her Majesty came down and said what she thought of it. She thanked me for doing it and what I'd done. And she said, um, glad to see, because she'd seen it in bits. And did you get it all back together? And I said, well, I have found.